embarrassing. So snazzy. I've never <laughs> seen you wear anything like that. Your dad was helping me out with like a lot of it. I, I heard. Oh you God. look so good. You look beautiful. In the heart of every moment, there's a magic eye. Leaf, I am pretty sure I said I love you for the first time a week into our relationship. Some might think that's crazy, but those three words left my mouth so easily. When I was a kid, my mom told me that she knew that my dad was the one for her. Just knew. I, I was so confused by what she meant. But the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew that you were the one. These past three years have only proven more and more that you are the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Over time, you have taught me many things. Everlasting love, passion, acceptance, joy. I could go on and on, but it's impossible for me to put into words the passionate and infinite embrace you have on my heart. Committing the rest of my life to you is the easiest decision I've ever made. When Alif and I were growing up, there were times we did not get along perfectly. Our mother even claims that when Alif was born, I wanted our mom to send her back. Well, I'm very glad she did not. Amy Lee once said, having a sister is like having a best friend you can't get rid of. You know, no matter what you do, they will always be there. This could not have been truer for the two of us. Alif is not only my younger sister, also my best friend, the person who's always there for me and always knows the right thing to say. She's the most caring, dedicated, and passionate person I know not only in her personal relationships, but in her successful career as an attorney as well. To my beautiful bride on our wedding day, Belief, <laughs> holy crap, it's finally here. I cannot begin to express how excited I am to be marrying you. When I first met you three years ago, I knew instantly I wanted to be with you. Your smile, warmth, intelligence, enthusiasm, and of course, your beauty, all of it captivated me. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I love you more than anything in this world. I vow to wake up every morning and thank God you are in my life. I vow to be the man you inspire me to be and the man you deserve. I vow to always be by your side when a cartoon character gets hurt in a movie and you cry. <laughs> I vow to stand by your side through life's most joyous moments and challenging ones. I vow to put your needs before mine. And I vow to love you and honor our commitment for the rest of our lives. Belief, you make life worth living for. And for that, I'm grateful, and every day you will see that appreciation. I love you, my superstar. I look back on our time together today and I can't imagine what I was able to do to be blessed with my soulmate in a time in my life where I did not feel deserving of it. You have light in my life in countless ways. Whenever I'm feeling down or sad or in need of any comfort, I know that as soon as I get into your arms, I'm protected and comforted. You are truly the most same piece in my life. I could not imagine a life without you. Dear Connor, I can't believe the day is here. The day we have been talking about for so long, there's nobody that I would rather see at the end of the altar today. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. See you soon. I believe. The way that you take care of me and our fur babies, I know that you will be an incredible dad and an overall amazing family man. We spend days apart and every time we spend a night apart, it feels empty. I hope we never have to spend another night apart again. And if we do, I'll always hold my rings close by to remind myself that I have the most incredible husband to come home to. It was such a joy for us to watch this little girl grow up and become this woman that we're all proud of. Elif, with her joyful and positive attitude, will do anything that she sets her mind into it, and she'll always do it to her own way. Wow, look at you. So beautiful. So beautiful. Very nice, Jeremy. Thank you.
You're beautiful. And Connor, I can't tell you how much we're delighted to have you as son-in-law. Since I met you, I had no doubt that you always love and cherish my daughter and all of her four-legged attachments. <laughs> In preparing my comment for today, I thought a lot about their personalities to try and figure out what it is about each of them as individuals that has allowed such a strong, deep, and seemingly effortless bond to flourish over a relatively short period of time. I quickly realized that they both possess what I consider to be some defining characteristics that not only make it a pleasure to be around them, but are also critical in cultivating a healthy, dedicated, and fun union that will last a lifetime. In Elif, I've always admired her spontaneity, positivity, and general eagerness to seize opportunities to fully experience and enjoy the world around her. In getting to know Connor, I learned that he possesses these traits as well. Another quality I associate with Elif and Connor individually and as a couple is humor. Elif has always had a quick wit in Connor. I mean, just look at him. <laughs> the man's a freaking comedian. Now I'd like to close with some thoughts on love from a social philosopher named Eric Fromm. He posits that man's awareness of himself as a separate entity is the source of all anxiety. He calls this the problem of human existence, which would be an unbearable prison if there were no solution. According to him, the answer to this problem lies in the achievement of interpersonal unity, a fusion with another person, which is the bond we call love. If you don't know much about Connor and Mai's relationship, I am, I am the younger brother, which means I've had the, the privilege of looking up to Connor in, uh, in pretty much all aspects of life. You know, selfishly, I like to think I made some kind of impact on, on Connor's life, but when I thought back, you know, and look back at our uh, life together, it's, it's really been him that's made the big impact on mine. Connor, you, you, you've been my role model. You've been my partner in crime. You've been my best friend since day one. You know, it truly makes me happy knowing that he found somebody like a leaf because you can tell every single day that she makes him the happiest man in the world. A leaf, you are absolutely incredible. I'm so grateful to have you here and I'm so grateful for the amount of joy you bring to Connor's life. Before Connor proposed to a leaf, he went out of his way to ask my permission as well as my parents. I don't think I ever told him just how much this meant to me, that he really understood and respected the special bond between sisters. Although you two are such a good match, don't ever take that for granted. Make sure you work on putting each other and your relationship first every day. You may kiss the bride. Yeah. Uh -huh.